taking some time this morning to chat with Gail King of CBS This Morning. With about a year and a half under her belt as co-anchor of the morning program, she tells me she enjoys every single day. Yes, this morning, the IRS admits giving... Gail King is a familiar face to many waking up in the morning, known for her ability to cover a variety of hard news stories and adding her own personal touch to interviews. Josh Groban, that, you know, he's serious about his music, but you are not necessarily a serious guy. You are not above a fart joke, which you will not be making here. <laughs> you will not be making here. Wow. But you do. You just but, said fart joke on CBS. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool. Gail spent nearly 20 years on the air at CBS station WFSB TV in Hartford, Connecticut, and has hosted countless TV programs. In chatting with her, I soon understood why so many of us love Gail King. I woke up this morning and said, is today the day I get to talk to Jamie Jackson? And darn if I didn't come in and they said, Jamie Jackson wants to talk to you. And here we are. <laughs> Well, thank I am, you for having me. I am thrilled. I am thrilled. And I want to talk about that because, you know, as a morning anchor myself, totally understand that whole early rising thing. What is a typical yeah. morning like for Gail King? Well, you know what it's like. I, I have to say, if there's any drawback to the job, it would have to be the hours because I'm really not a morning person. I always stayed up late. Mm -hmm. But this, this is the thing, and you must feel this way too. When you get up and you like what you do, it makes it a little easier. But my alarm goes off at 3.30. I normally need a couple of snooze periods where you just sort of lay there. I get up and I bathe. I do try to bathe every single day. <laughs> and I get picked up, and then I come into work. Tell me about the chemistry that you, Charlie, and Nora have. I mean, it's phenomenal. You know, we can't really fake that stuff on TV. No. Nope. Uh, how did you nope. all connect so, so quickly and so deeply? Well, you, can't, you, 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 you said something really important when you said that you can't fake chemistry, and you really can't do that. It really is something either you have it or you don't. And I think that when you work with the two people that I work with, we actually do all get along. We, we all admire and respect each other. And I think that that, I think that that shows. But you can also see that we have a great time on the air. Mm -hmm. Charlie Rose never, ever, ever has an inauthentic moment. He never just plays along just for the sake of, you know, having nice, anchored, happy talk. He never does that. If he doesn't want to engage, he doesn't. If he doesn't have anything to say, he doesn't. And the same thing with Nora and the same thing with myself. We never try to fake something on the air. And I think that that comes through. Did you ever imagine that you would be sitting in that chair that you're sitting in right now as a co-anchor for CBS This Morning, a CBS network program in general? Yes, I always knew, Jamie. I always <laughs> knew I'd be sitting in this chair. Of course I didn't know that. You know, listen, I was at a stage in my life, I have always been a very happy kid, mm -hmm. grown to a very happy teenager, to a very happy young woman, and now at this stage of my life, I, I, I really feel good about what I do and who I am. And so I was very comfortable in the job that I had. I had a great radio show that I enjoyed doing. I actually still kind of miss radio. I was uh, editor-at-large at the Oprah Magazine. I'm still doing that. And I had a talk show on OWN, the Oprah uh, Winfrey Network, the Gail King Show, which I love doing. So one day, you, you take a phone call, and it totally changes your life. And on the other end of the phone was Chris Lick, mm -hmm. who really did change my life. And he's the one that put this whole team together. But if you would ask me would I be, do would I be doing this at this stage in my life, I would have told you no. That's why it goes to show you that, you know, Oprah says this all the time, God can dream a bigger dream than you have for yourself. I wasn't even dreaming this, Jamie. I wasn't dreaming it. And it presented itself, and I just sort of grabbed it, and here we are. That was the highlight of my career. I'm even wearing yellow just for Gail today. <laughs> you can check out my full interview with Gail King online at WLFI.com. She really seems so genuine. Oh you gosh, know, like yes. that, the, the person you see during CBS this morning is really Gail King. Yes, yes. Yeah. She's herself, and I love that. Great.